before we dive into the video, I do want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is FabFitFun. If you guys are not familiar with FabFitFun, they are a seasonal subscription box. They have everything that ranges from fashion, beauty, lifestyle products, fitness products. What I really, really like about them is that you can find and discover new products at the full size. They're not like samples. You get the full product. You can now customize what you prefer. So instead of just getting a box of goodies that you have no idea what you're getting, you have the option to customize your specific box for the products that you want. I really, really like this company because it's dedicated to support female entrepreneurs. If you guys are in social media, if you guys have an online business or a brand, it's a really, really good option. I think PR is so much fun. Opening and discovering new products is just beyond. It's like Christmas morning every time I get a box. Now you have the option to do that as well. Like I said, with full size products, which you can't beat. It's a really, really Really great value for your business or you can get it for a gift for someone i think it's really fun to give friends and family gifts like i said it's christmas morning they get a box of goodies so i got the spring box which is just beyond beautiful it has flowers everywhere this is all made with recyclable material the theme for spring was to blossom and to grow so it's all about being fresh and renewing yourself they're giving you guys ten dollars off your first box if you use the code renee 10 at fabfitfun.com all the information and the link as well as the promo code will be linked in my description box i am excited to dive in so we're diving in let's see what we have here you also get lots of deals you got the care of promo code 30 percent off and then you got hello fresh 13 free meals this is so much fun first of all i freaking love this stuff reusable beauty rounds biome brightening serum this is right up my alley this is a beautiful beautiful package super aesthetic this is really exciting i actually picked this one out sea mud deep cleansing bar so this is going in the shower for my self-care stuff first of all again the packaging i'm just these these brands are like upping their game this is like vintage old school i don't know what it is but i love that like vintage look but it's basically a detoxifying soap bar there we go we got some bath gel by islands of italy there we go lather over entire body and rinse we shall smell this one as well oh that smells good all these bath stuff like they know me oh i also picked this one so this is the milk makeup you guys i'm sure have heard of milk this is what i'm saying about fab fit bun they've really like knocked it out of the park with the brands i'm a huge fan of milk so this is a watermelon brightening face mask oh, i just want to use it right now we'll do like it we should do like a self-care vlog i love the idea of like rubbing it on instead of getting all dirty i always hate clay masks because it it's just so messy this is awesome you could just like apply it like this jewelry item it's so beautiful full-size mac products i mean like really so this one's called work work w-e-r-k full freaking size mac lipstick you cannot beat it there's like a dusty pink color if only young renee knew this because i used to like start out my youtube channel and i'd be like how do you get pr how do you get pr and i'd find pr but they'd only send samples and instead of wasting all your money on all these products that you're just trying or using for your brand this is a really great way to do that and it's not expensive like the value is just amazing uh tropical trio oh yeah i picked this one too so this is for your teeth which i actually just went to the dentist today how cool is this i love again the packaging is great and i think it tastes like orange and they're like really beautiful it's like making your oral hair so nice little floss box this is so much fun it tells you here like how many days to daily floss in terms of daily floss and then you got some more floss this one is pure strawberry it's freaking scented that's awesome i feel like restocked and refreshed in terms of my products it's really fun you guys should really check them out i highly recommend especially if you're a female entrepreneur this will just up your brand a lot so all the information will be linked down below huge shout out to fab that fun for sponsoring today's video let's get on to the vlog Push back the seat. 
Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, today's video is going to be a New York City work week in my life. I have a lot of just work to do. We're going to like hustle and grind in this video and that's going to be the overall theme for this vlog. Today is currently March 1st. It is the first day of the month. Pure bliss to my soul and it's a Monday which is even more. I love when the month starts on a Monday. I just feel so refreshed and renewed and spring is coming up. All the new like good stuff you know happens on the first of the month on the first of the week so it's great that they're both together. Something that I wanted to do is create new habits for myself and I actually made a little habit tracker on my little whiteboard here. First thing in the morning that I like to do is just wake up and do some Bible reading. It's like my quiet time if you will so after the Bible reading I will typically do my journaling. I have the two journals here you guys know the drill. I have the gratitude journal as well as my question of the day journal and then I'll read a non-fiction book like a chapter of a non-fiction and then I want to start like getting ready and my getting ready doesn't mean like looking like this and like doing my hair and the full makeup shebang but like wash my face do my skincare brush my hair change out of my pjs this just like get dressed basically like self-care if you will i find that especially because i work from home i just stay in my pjs all day it's just so bad for my mental health and my motivation levels and all that stuff so those four things are a really good kind of just like quiet me time which i started this week and then also getting an am walk just getting a little stroll whether that's like 10 minutes or 45 minutes i think getting outside and getting that fresh air like at the start of the day really just kind of like jolts you awake and like makes you feel like you've already like you know started your day when you start your day with comfort i feel like you stick with that mindset throughout your day just seeing people's faces or like feeling the fresh air like you're taking that energy with you throughout the day and then there's three other things on my habit tracker that i added um this is just going to be throughout the day posting on instagram i slack on instagram like it's really bad and i know that a lot of people are getting a lot of leverage right now on like reels my goal is to like either post or do a reel just do something creative on instagram like business wise and then clubhouse is something that i've also started it's an invite only app but it's kind of like a conference call if you will like there's like chat rooms where you can talk and converse with the people who are part of the group but there's groups for everyone so there's like groups for like social media there's groups for religion there's groups for women and female power there's like a ton of different options there's even like hangout chats you know so like it's just a really good social slash networking app that i've been currently listening to so getting one of those in every single day would be great and then i want to read 50 pages a day of my fiction book which i typically do at night i also created this intention for every day of the week monday through friday and that is to do something social every day, do something work-wise every day, and then also move my body every day. And then I also have a new editing uh, little schedule for my editor. So Mondays will be a off day. Tuesdays, I need to upload my Wednesday uploads. Wednesdays, I need to send my Sunday uploads to my editor. Thursdays, I need to send my Mondays video to my editor fridays i need to upload my monday video saturday i need to upload my sunday video and then sunday i need to send my wednesday video over so that's like all the stuff that i have kind of like spread out here on my little whiteboard and kind of the overall theme outlook of the week i also have a little post-it here of some videos that i need to focus on i like to do this because um, i can see which ones i need to focus on first and then i'll just cross them off as the week goes on obviously the week in my life is priority that's going to be throughout the whole entire week I also have a favorites video that I'm actually filming today and then I need to do a what I eat in a day video and then we're going to do like a deep cleaning apartment video. Those are the four main videos I'm filming this week. So like I said, I'm actually going to be filming a favorites video right now. So I got all ready. Let me show you guys my outfit. I will leave it linked down below, but I'm just wearing these Levi, the wedgie fit ones, slippers, <laughs> um, this little white crop tank with my Ana Luisa jewelry on. I have like Ana Luisa everything, my earrings, rings, necklaces. Um, and then I'm wearing this, it's almost like a denim jacket, but it's black. 
and I'm pretty sure I got this either from Misguided or Nasty Gal. If I can find my outfit deets, I will leave it linked down below for you guys. I threw on some gold hoops and actually curled my hair today, so I feel really ready. <laughs> like, I actually did the whole shebang, um, so I'm gonna just sit down, uh, film that, and just kind of knock that out, and then we'll do some computer work as the day progresses. So here's the current setup for filming. I like to film with like a nice background, so this is basically where I'm gonna be sitting, and then the background, I have like always a candle going, my little twinkle lights are on, you can't really tell, but um, this is the backdrop. I'll typically do that, or I'll sit down here with just like the plain white wall in the back, or I'll put my camera here, and then have like the wall as the background. Favorite videos are crazy, <laughs> I just have a ton of stuff here. So I'm gonna be filming like the sit down portion, but I'm also gonna be filming the individual favorites so that you can get like an overlay or a clip of me using the actual product. So it's kind of an in-depth video, it seems really simple, but it's kind of super intensive to be honest. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and film that. All right guys, I'm taking a little break post filming. I'm actually having an omelet. I haven't had an omelet in so long. So I'm gonna have some lunch and then get back to work. Now what I'm going to do is go on the outline of the video that I just filmed. And because it's a favorites video, I just have all of the products that I mentioned kind of like organized by lifestyle, food, and then beauty and fashion. And then for anything that I'm going to be filming separately, like a little overlay of me talking about it, I'm gonna just put like a little asterisk, eight things to film. So I'm gonna do that probably today and tomorrow, my foundation routine. I already have foundation on, I'm not gonna take it off and like refilm. I'll just film it when I'm doing it tomorrow. I already had a matcha and half a Celsius and a little bit of iced coffee, so I don't need any more caffeine. I'm not gonna just waste a matcha filming it, so I'm gonna film that tomorrow morning. For what I can do today, I'm gonna go ahead and do. And then we're gonna do computer work, so like emails I gotta get through. I'm gonna do my thumbnail, which I'll show you guys. I can do my thumbnail for a separate video that I already have up for my editor. It's a lot of work today. I pretty much did a lot on my to-do list today. I filmed the sit-down portion of the favorites video. I did end up posting on my Instagram, so I checked that off my habits. I made a thumbnail for a separate weekend vlog, and then I did the description box for the favorites video. And now all I have left to do are to film the other clips for the favorites video, and then I also have to upload the week in my life, because I upload every single day if I'm doing like a vlog. Organize the clips from like the days so today i'll just upload them as like monday clips um and then i do need to upload my favorites to the drive as well i use google drive for organizing my clips and with my editor it's been a busy day for sure it's actually about to rain the clouds are coming in pretty hot they're going so fast so it's kind of nice to have a little bit of coziness to set the vibe. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the clips today or tomorrow. I might just keep them for tomorrow. I also have like a appointment, like a call with my accountant for my taxes today. So I think I'm gonna just relax until then. Very busy. I'm kind of tired. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I had the intention this morning to go to the dentist, but my prayers were answered. My dentist appointment was canceled. I actually have like the biggest fear of the dentist, but I definitely need to make uh, an appointment. But I got ready because I filmed a quick little like reel. I ended up doing um, a foundation routine. So I actually bought this little like iPhone tripod. I don't use it too often. The sun was shining. I was trying to get that like glow but i got this you can just pop your phone on this it's super easy i'll link it down below if you guys are interested i just found the quick little foundation routine which is also something that i need to put in my favorites video so i have to go through that kind of like edit out the videos and send it to my editor and then i actually went ahead and finished filming the little clips for my favorites video yesterday as well my ac is blasting a lot of you guys asked me they're like why is your ac on if it's freezing it's actually the heat so today's plan was supposed to be the dentist but now it's to make a dentist appointment i'm still trying to figure out like my insurance and stuff here in the city so i guess i keep making appointments with people who aren't in my insurance plan but i found one this morning and they actually just opened so i need to call them 
I need to upload my Wednesday video, so uh, that's something that I should be getting from my editor today, so we'll review that later tonight. I had to film the matcha as well as my foundation routine, which I just kind of mentioned, which I've already done. I want to actually do the reel, put it together. I think I'm gonna do a reel post, reel post, reel post every other day, and then just like don't post on Sundays. I need to do a thumbnail for my favorites video as well. So that way, by the time I get my favorites video, all I have to do is kind of review it, because I have everything else already done, the thumbnail, and and the description box. That's pretty much the plan for today. Um, a lot of work, but not too much filming, just like little computer work. Hi, um, can I schedule an appointment for a cleaning? <laughs> so confusing. take a little walk because I didn't get my AM walk in this morning. It was so freezing and so windy. It looks super sunny and bright out right now. Like the sky is so blue, but it is beyond freezing. So we just did like 10, 15 minutes, nothing too crazy. And now I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do some legs. I haven't done legs in a minute. So legs and abs are always like my favorite. I'm ready to knock it out. I'm wearing this top from bamboo something i'll pop it here on the screen for you guys but it is the softest material my towels are from there they're like made out of bamboo fiber or something like that they're the softest pieces of clothing ever and towels this is my first time wearing it and it's like really really comfortable and then i'm wearing just regular lululemon leggings i hope the rain don't come in november because the summer went way too officially on that hump day it is midweek i woke up this morning had a super super chill morning nothing really too crazy going on today last night i ended up getting uh the final video for today's video so i went ahead and reviewed that uploaded it set it live to go up today and it went live at 8 a.m i stick to my schedule monday wednesdays and sundays i do have a little dinner with my friend tonight my friend Haley. if you guys follow her she's on tiktok but she's also been to YouTube go check her out I'll leave her information down below she's like really really good if you are looking for like a spiritual like teacher or like just like a motivational kind of speaker she's done like TED talks and stuff even I'm just around her I'm just like instantly inspired and motivated she has a way with words so she lives in the same building as me and we actually live so close to each other like I could see her out my window and now she's moved on up to a bigger and better place which i'm like low-key so sad about but at the same time i'm so happy for her so i've done a walkthrough of her apartment when she first signed but it was empty so i haven't been there since she moved last week so i'm so excited we're gonna have like a little girls night my other friend taylor who i've known for years like literally she and i were like next door neighbors when we were four or five she's been like my childhood friend and her family and my family are very close so i introduced them together and it's so great because they get along really good and we have this like weird little thing we're like nay tay and hey 
night. So we're gonna have one of those tonight, which I'm so freaking excited about. Her apartment views are just stunning. Yeah, I need to go to Target, so I'm gonna get her a housewarming gift, and then I'm gonna go get some new AirPods. My AirPod battery have just like expired. Every time I put them on, no matter how much I charge them for, they die within like 10 minutes. It sucks. I did some research and it said that AirPods typically like the battery life will last around two years and I've had these for way longer so I don't feel that bad going to go get some more. Because it's midweek I like to typically do like a quick little like spruce cleanup. Nothing too deep just like clean the surfaces and stuff because I feel like midweek is where we don't work as hard or we like take it and run with it and just end the week strong so in order to end the week strong i really like to kind of just do like a quick spruce up it's in, it's insane how your environment can shift your mindset and motivation levels a quick little weekly task that i have for myself for today was to go through my music so on youtube i use epidemic sound i've mentioned them so many times before i'll leave them linked down below but for all my non-copyrighted songs i use them it's a small service fee that you can pay to not have to really worry about copyright which is like the most annoying thing ever if you are an influencer or you deal with any sort of copyright issues you know how annoying and frustrating that could be just to stay safe i use epidemic sound and it's literally like spotify now they've changed their interface they've done a really good job at finding new creators and artists and stuff like i actually like a lot of the music on there and a lot of them actually go on Spotify, like I've heard them in playlists before. So it's a really good way to discover new artists and also use their music. I'm gonna go through that, find some new music, and do a little cleanup of my apartment. So I went ahead and organized all my music on my Google Drive. I pretty much use that for my whole entire life existence in terms of my career. It's a great way to like have electronic folders and organization stuff for your business i have a whole separate thing here i just went through the epidemic sound thing added some new music i don't like to reuse a lot of my music it kind of gets boring and repetitive so i just went through everything and i organized them into these kind of categories these are the typical categories that i will use for my music so i have beats um anything like lo-fi like just no lyrics jazz or something like that this folder is called cozy so this is more like folky like autumn music i typically won't use those all the time it will be more so like in october november um i have dreamy music which is my favorite it's just very like cozy aesthetic kind of like Billie eilish style music hip-hop i will typically do this like when i work out or I don't know look cool in a video any upbeat lyrics these are just like oh productive getting stuff done so those are the main topics of music that i will um, put into my videos so yeah Thursday. I just got back from the dentist. How are my pearly whites? I freaking hate the dentist so much. It's just the whole environment. It's like the tools, the equipment that they use, and the noises that it makes. It's like for me, nails on a chalkboard. Like I, I cringe every time I go. I literally have to force myself to go. It's a big freaking problem. I'm a baby. I will literally sit there and like I clench my hands so tight. And then after the appointment, I'm like, Phew and my hands are like all red and there's like indentations of like where I was like stress holding my hands anyway I got it done and I always feel so accomplished after the dentist now I'm gonna do a lot of just random work so today's little work tasks we have to film the little brand intro for this video fab fit fun you guys have seen it by now which is really exciting I got sent over a video actually a little bit early from my editor so I had to review that so I'm gonna go ahead and do some unboxing real quickly get it sent over and edited today before we do that I need to review the video for my favorites video we're in hustle mode now also got the new airpods 
they were actually on sale at target it said 150 but they rang up as like 120 i was like awesome so this is like freaking expensive you know but i didn't know that like the battery dies but they have the new ones like the airpod pros i wasn't really a fan of like the style of it they have that like little plastic thing that comes out i don't know exactly what that is but they always end up falling out of my ear and what is the difference between the regular airpods and the airpod pros i gotta set this up as well they're fresh and clean don't you love good fresh set of airpods they're so clean i don't even want to freaking use them i'm gonna keep using my old ones until they literally die hustle mode let's get it going so we got a little package from Elf. They always have really cool stuff. So they're actually partnering with Chipotle. It's okay to be a little extra. How cool is this box? All the Chipotle toppings. Awesome. Oh, this is so interesting. Chipotle eyeshadow palette. Make it hot lip gloss. Guac sponge set. Fresh ingredients, fresh look. This is awesome. This is so freaking weird, but lettuce, guac, pinto beans. And then... We got the bad boy, the fab fit fun. I'm gonna film this, you guys have already seen this. Onto the boring computer work. I say it's boring, but I, it's actually my favorite part. I like just kind of being in flow state. It's just not fun in terms of content because I'm not gonna be filming, but I'm gonna be here for the next like little bit. So we're gonna put on blue light glasses. Sun that is blasting in my face. Start getting to grind mode. I look like a little boss over here. guys my uh ac aka my heater is on in the back but it should turn off in a second it's kind of loud but i just had a business call with my mother what the hell she is actually an accountant i actually hired an accountant but apparently i also need like a bookkeeper like that's what i thought the accountant was gonna do but she doesn't do that kind of stuff or something like that i don't know basically she does like my taxes and will help me in terms of like making financial decisions that benefit me in the tax world but i was like getting consumed with the transactional purchases and like the categories behind them because it took me so long if you guys watched ever my plan with me's when i did my finance stuff you saw how long it took me like it took me so long it's just such a tedious task that i really just thought my accountant could take care of but like she can't anyway long story short my mom um is an accountant and she's going to be doing my bookkeeping work and if you guys followed me from like couple years ago you probably remember i tried this out one time with her but she actually has like a full-time job like she ha does is an accountant manager for like a uh, company so she doesn't have a lot of time on her hands but i think uh we figured out a way that she could do it because i really trust her and obviously like she's my mom like i don't have to like pay or anything so she and i just had like a one hour business call she's so cute when i see her in her little like element of being like a freaking girl boss i have groceries at the front door and i heard him knock and it's been like 30 minutes so hopefully everything's okay but maybe we'll do like a quick grocery haul tell me if this is getting repetitive like i feel like it's getting repetitive but i know you guys really like grocery hauls and this one isn't from trader joe's it's from whole foods which i haven't done in a while i usually typically have been going to trader joe's all right let me go get the freaking groceries and we'll do a grocery haul i honestly hate buying stuff from amazon and like whole foods look at this like it is beyond ridiculous how many freaking bags they give me it's literally two like one item per bag it's dependent on like the section of the grocery store like produce over here refrigerated frozen stuff but they're literally not organized at all like it's one almond milk in one bag another almond milk in another eggs in another toast and bread in the other probably three tops per bag it's absolutely ridiculous they really need to figure that out because it's like not okay all the groceries oat milk this is my favorite oat milk um for matcha lattes and stuff we got some coconut water which is really good um and protein shakes regular milk for noah's coffee in the morning uh vanilla bean ice cream and chocolate fudge brownie ice cream <laughs> i haven't had ice cream in a minute uh no one wanted that one so granola purely elizabeth original some yogurt um this is coconut yogurt i've been doing yogurt parfaits a lot lately perfect bars peanut butter flavor is where it's at i can literally go through these in four days there's four bars each for a day <laughs> i go through these pretty quickly um parmesan shavings for salads a uh, little snack section over here i've never tried these but they look really good raspberry lemon baked bars keto friendly i'm not keto but whatever these are nacho chipotle chips i've had these before i actually like long story i was a brand ambassador for this company actually no it was for sprouts but we got a ton of samples from these 
and they're really really good they taste kind of like um doritos these are plantain uh little chip bags kettle chips sea salt chips pistachio uh little snack stuff there's honey roasted roasted and salted and chili roasted uh, a whole bunch of like lunchable things. These are like healthier lunchables. Protein, oat, cluster, apple, cinnamon. Little snacks. Coconut chips. Um, on over to produce. We got some eggs, corn, kiwi, tomato, avocado, lemon, grapefruit, bananas, a shit ton of onions, fruit, blueberries, strawberries, grapes, um, lettuce and stuff for salads. We got baby kale, spring mix. A ton of spinach, these actually go in protein shakes for me. I pop them in my freezer. Romaine, chicken wings. Noah puts these in the air fryer with buffalo sauce. They're so good. These looked really good. They're like little corn dog bites. Uh, fish filet sticks are so quick and easy. This is my favorite pizza ever. The Amy's cheese pizza. Uh, sprouted honey and oat bread. We got some Kashi cereal. This one's really, really yummy. And then Noah got <laughs> hazelnut cocoa pillows whatever that is we got these so i actually have never had the whole foods brand of this but trader joe's has a, a version that's so so good like literally we found it last time and we were like well what how have we not ever had this before obviously they didn't have the brand so we got the whole foods brand of it but it's italian soda and then noah's like why don't we try the pomegranate while we're at it that looks kind of bitter honestly to be quite honest but yeah that's my grocery haul i'm gonna put this stuff away and take a breath because i feel like i can't breathe for some freaking reason all right guys i just popped out of the shower i had like a legit spa night i literally just turned off the lights lit a candle and a eucalyptus candle at that and i put on like a spa ambiance and it felt like i was literally in a spa like my bathroom got so steamy it felt like a steam room and the music it was just oh my god so nice and my eyes are so red like my eyes get really red after the shower and i'm also so freaking tired and i worked so much today so i'm just like a mixture of all that but that's why my eyes are like bloodshot right now uh so fret not but um i'm gonna do something so corny i'm like seriously stoked about this fab fit fun boss and the one that's in it is watermelon and it smells so good. My dentist today actually was telling me that you need to floss first, which I was not aware of. I always brush my teeth first, but she's like, no, you need to floss first. And this makes flossing so much fun. It's called Coco Floss, that's the brand. So this whole thing should last about 60 days. And it's like fun colors. That's so cool. It literally tastes like watermelon. That is so fun. All right, I'm gonna finish doing this, go to bed, and we'll catch up tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm actually filming three videos today. I'm doing a what I eat in a day, which I'm currently filming right now. We just made a freaking mess in my kitchen. Um, I'm also gonna be finishing up this vlog, which is a week in my life. And then also I'm doing a little book haul of my favorite spiritual books. Just super busy Friday, which is actually kind of rare. Usually I kind of chill on Fridays. I also wanna get to the gym today. I had two rest days in a row, which is fine. I was just kind of like very busy. So I kind of wanna do arms and my back today. I was just sitting here like looking at my apartment compared to like what I'm filming with the what I in a day um, I think we all know that social media is just very not real like I think we're very aware of that now I feel like there's like an equal balance to like what I want to put out there because I really do love the aesthetic of social media like I like cinematography and making things look cozy and like giving that vibe to the viewer because I personally like that as well but I think we all need to keep in mind and I feel like it's on influencers more so to kind of remind people like hey like this is just fun it's photography it's aesthetic but it's not ever like supposed to be taken so seriously like your breakfasts aren't supposed to be so freaking beautifully aesthetic I was actually having a conversation with another friend of mine who isn't in social media who's like kind of opened up recently and was like yeah a lot of things that you see online it's not like what you really see in person that's so true not that i'm ever lying it's just like the portrait of what i'm giving is very different than like the behind the scenes if you will so for example like this morning i was just making a very aesthetic shot of my breakfast but then when you like look at the full picture like being here i was like my freaking kitchen is a disaster it looks like a hot mess <laughs> i posted it on social media you could just see like it's just a freaking disaster like the aesthetic shots that i took while i was like filming my breakfast shots this is literally what it looks like but that's not actually in the video just because I like it to be aesthetic but just always keep that in mind like social media is very one-dimensional like you're only seeing the surface level so 
yeah just something to keep in mind i posted a few pictures of like instagram versus reality but i just don't want to only put out that like my life looks beautifully perfect all the time no one's does i'm gonna get ready put some makeup on i'm gonna film the spring spring reading the spiritual book video i think i'm gonna head to the gym after i'll take you guys along with me Alrighty, guys again from the waist up i am ready i just put on like this really beautiful lace sleeve long sleeve um i haven't worn these earrings in a minute i honestly forgot where i got them from really beautiful i was gifted them if i can find them i'll link them down below but i don't typically wear them because it's like very fancy i don't know bottom down i'm like typical renee you know always in my pjs i'm gonna be filming the spiritual books video i'm getting quarantine vibes here if you guys remember in 2020 i used to pull my tree this is like the only piece of furniture i had and i would just like add it as like a backdrop to the white wall here and i'll just sit on the floor and film so that's what we're doing just film this is what i mean by social media is not real i'm literally taking off all of my jewelry now probably my makeup i'm gonna go work out wear this top for like two seconds that was a fun one i love filming book videos i like getting money i got time to get it talking on me so my car's attending dancing with the devil i don't bargain with it bobbing in the dash and the stick is with it and i hit the four or five on the wet it is the end of the night on Friday and I feel like I did so much this week in terms of work. Today I did a lot of computer work too, just uh, another integration for a sponsor in an upcoming video and I sent that out to them, got approved in one day, which is like my favorite. And then I did like my thumbnails for this video as well as another video which i filmed today the spiritual book video i did all the description box for all of them and basically i have all my videos scheduled and sent out to my editor for this upcoming week and i'm pretty much all done in terms of work for the week so saturday and sunday here we go just relaxing and chilling i kind of did like a little quick like look at my weekly spread here this is what my habit tracker ended up looking like at the end of the week um, I think it's so important to keep in mind that you don't need to like be so intense with the habit trackers. I feel like that's where I kind of disconnected from them when I used to do them back long in the day because I felt the need to like check them off every single day, but that's just so unrealistic. Excuse my dryer. I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and our habits and stuff. So having them like spread out in front of me is really a good reminder to just be like oh keep these in mind like this is what i want to get done but if i don't get them done all in this specific order or every single day like that's totally okay it just kind of shows me like where i'm focusing more of my attention and where i would like to focus my attention i did a lot this week that i'm really proud of saturday and sunday i think i'm going to keep these up to kind of just keep them going uh towards the end of the weekend and then as the next monday comes up I'm just gonna like see what I wanna keep, what I wanna add, what I wanna get rid of. And then this is what the like daily basis spread kind of looks like. I did a good amount of, you know, social things, working out. I did a lot of work this week. We actually have been keeping up with our workouts here on the whiteboard. I wanna do like the whole month and kind of just see what I did for the month. I think it'll be fun. So um, I did pretty good with workouts. I had, like I said, two rest days and then today I did arms back and then Noah's gonna put his in there. So yeah, I feel like I had a really good week. Killed it. I feel like I did really good. So it's nice to like go into the weekend and feel nice and productive and like I can actually relax without needing to do anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some motivation from it to like get stuff done, create an online business or something like that. This was very like behind the scenes of my work, if you will. I try my best to kind of just live a very balanced life and I hope that that came across. I hope you guys got something from this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in a future video. Love you.